The, the, the ESMA um, consultation documents stretch to over 800 pages. There are two of them. One is the consultation on the directive. One is actually a discussion paper on the regulation. But they stretch to over um, 800 pages between the two of them. And I think it's something like uh, uh, 880 questions, something of that sort. We will not be answering every single question, I can tell you. I don't think any association will be. Um, but there's a lot of work. Uh, and the, um, it is actually, to an extent, evidence gathering by ESMA. They're trying to fill out the detail of bits of the directive and regulation that will eventually be turned into rules governing the way firms have to behave on the ground. And to do that, they've really got to find out in more detail what actually happens in the market and how it functions and also how consumers are protected and how what they are proposing fits in with that. So there's a lot of evidence element in this. We all want to make sure they get evidence from us about our sector of the market. And there's also a question of um, their views on, on what the implication is for uh, the markets of some of the language. So they've already written out on the other side, that is the non-evidence gathering section of these papers, written out their proposals and ideas for how that should be implemented and they want to consult on those and see whether they're going to meet resistance or whether there's uh, some sense that they're about on the right track.